What's going on everyone? Today I need to address this. I don't have any room for more terrariums and this is the best spot in the house to put them. The lighting is just perfect. It's not too bright, it's not too dim and most of my terrariums seem to do very well here. So what am I going to do to combat this? Well basically I'm going to build a in-shelf window so that way I can put more up here. Probably have to get taller ones to put down here. For, with this one so I'm not wasting space or maybe I'll even hang the hanging ones from the shelf there I, I don't know I'll figure something out there and then maybe all of the shorter ones will go on the next shelf up and uh, we'll do one on top for smaller terrariums. so we'll have three shelves total actually we'll have two shelves and then this will count as the bottom shelf now if you remember from the demo on the jumbo terrarium here I said that it was hanging off the edge and that's also what I'm going to address in this video. Basically what I'm going to do is I have this board here, I'm going to cut it to the exact width of this board coming off of the window so that will extend the depth of it and then I'll build the shelf off of that. Alright so to begin I want to measure the width of this and then this is the board that's going to actually create additional length and it's pretty much the same height you're not really ever going to see the bottom of it so it doesn't matter and I'm going to paint it white so it looks like it matches and this is 31 and a quarter something like that and I'll go outside and cut that here in a second I got these two or I'll, I'll cut two of these to the depth of it and then to the width of 16 and an eighth because I don't have a board that's the exact size of that and I don't really want to go out and buy another board so I might as well use some of the scraps I got laying around. Now we got to do how deep it is. So we got nine, about nine and a half, but I got to take into account this thing. Looking at about a little more than eleven and a half. And of course I'm going to have to account for this thing back here. So I'm actually just going to eyeball it here. And then I'll cut it out with a coping saw so that way it will just fit into place. First I'll test this board. I already did and I know that it fits perfectly so there we go, it is the exact size, which is good. And so for these, that's where that piece will get cut out. Chances are I'll probably have to trim a little bit off these. Yep, my measurements were whack. Rather than try to get them perfectly the same length, probably I'll just trim some off of this one. I'm gonna set this board under here so that it is even. Working at roughly, oh my, yeah, working at roughly like about an inch that I gotta cut off. So I'm gonna get trim this. So with any luck, they should fit now. And yeah, I'm pleased with that. It's not exactly flush. It's a little bit smaller, but that's all right. Uh, so that way, it's not bumming off the sides. This is lined up perfectly. So what I'm gonna do now is. Cut that out with the coping saw so that way we can see how this really fits. So slide this one in there, fits good. And then that one as well. I, I think that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna sand that down a little bit just so it's slightly more uniform. Doesn't really matter because we're not gonna see it at all. But whatever, for, for my peace of mind. I'd like it to be like that. Yeah, and then this will stick off. So actually, these are gonna have to come forward slightly, but that's all right. So it's gonna look something like that. We'll paint it white, and then I'll probably sand down the front just so it looks uniform. So now all the boards are cut, I got that sanded a little bit. What I want to do is actually attach this to these. So I think probably like right there seems like it will be good. And like I said, I'll sand it later on. So I'm going to pull this out slightly and put some wood glue on it. 
just like that. And we'll slide it back. And I got some clamps here and I'm just gonna clamp it on there. And then now I can remove this from here. Hopefully I got a little bit of wood glue on there. Let me move this elsewhere. I'm just gonna clean this off real quick. Okay, so that's good. Now I've got this flipped over and I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit with this rag just to remove any excess wood glue. And I'm going to put more clamps on. Now we'll let that sit for a little while, let it dry, and then we'll move on. So I let it dry all day, and now it's time to remove all of these. I already know that it fits in place, but I'll go set it there just to see what it looks like. Now it's a day later, and we're going to finish doing this. I just set it up real quick to see how it looks with all of the terrariums on it and I think it looks great. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What I'm going to do now is originally I had said I was going to sand this down and do all of that. I think it would be a lot easier to just cut a little bit off so that it's more uniform and then we'll paint it white and then I got to build everything else that's going to be put in here so let's move on. That's perfect. That's as good as it's going to get unless I really come in here and sand it down and everything like that. But to be honest, I don't feel like taking the time to do that because this is not going to be something that's permanent. I'm only using this while I still live at this house. But, you know, I think it looks great. What I'm going to do now is get these hanging terrariums out of the way because they're going to get in the way of what we're doing next. As I said before, with this, we're pretty much just reusing a lot of scrap wood from previous projects. And these are boards that I was gonna use on one of my shelves, and I decided not to. These are already cut to the right height. I might make them slightly shorter, but you know, they're, they're basically good enough. They'll go here on the sides, and then in between them will be the shelves. I think what I'm going to do is determine how high I need all of these shelves to be and then cut these accordingly. This big terrarium is going to dictate how tall the bottom shelf is. I already know how high this is. Yeah, it's about 20. So what I'm thinking is that the bottom shelf will be 19 and a half. Just because I highly doubt I'm going to put another one down here that's taller than that. And then on the next shelf up, we're gonna have this bottle terrarium. And this will pretty much be the tallest one that's on there. So we're gonna need it to be roughly 10. We'll get 10 and a half just to be safe. Let me do some measurements here. So now I'm ready to make the actual platforms that will go on this shelf. And what I'm going to do is just get the full width measurement of this and then subtract these from it and use that width. So as is, it is 31 and 1 8 inches wide. And each of these is 3 quarters of an inch. So we will subtract 1 and a half inches from that. Okay, so 29 and I believe that's 3 eighths, or no, or I don't know, 5 eighths. I believe that's 29 and 5 eighths off too. So now I've got all of my boards cut, and when it's put together, it's going to look pretty much just like this. This shelf's probably going to be about there, let's see. It has to be 20 inches tall. Yeah, it's pretty close. So yeah, it will look like this, and something that I remembered as I was cutting the boards is that this one actually needs to be the exact width 
of that piece that's on the bottom and then this one's smaller because it obviously it's sitting on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make measurements on the side here and then on the outside so I can get it prepared to put in the screws and obviously I'm going to do that. So now I got this all measured, ready to go. I'm gonna drill in these holes so that I can uh, put the screws in and we'll go from there. So now what I'm gonna do is take these boards out from underneath of here that I had to keep that elevated so I didn't drill into the floor and set these side by side and get this. Get this board in between here, and I've got these clamps here. I'm just going to clamp it into place to make it easier for me whenever I'm trying to get these screws in. I'm going to drill through the holes once more just to kind of get this board primed a little bit, and then I can put in the screws. Now we're going to put the top on and for this I'm going to do basically the same thing but I'm not going to pre-measure it. Now I'm going to drill in from the sides here. I don't really care if they are symmetrical because you're not, like I said before, you're not going to see them there on the top. suspicion that this board is, would it be this one or one of these boards is slightly longer. Let's see. Yep, 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Let me measure from the bottom here. Yes. I don't know guys, this is, this is bizarre. These measurements are, they're spot on everywhere exactly the same. So all I want to do real quick is just to make sure that these are level. Let's stick it right in the center there and I would say that that is pretty much level and close enough. All right, doesn't need to be perfect. Like I said, this is only temporary. So what I want to do now is attach this to the um, bottom of this. So what I'm going to do is make sure it is the wall and I'm put a little line here. So I've got the main piece sitting on the bottom. I got those lines of course so I'm going to set this on top of here and I'm going to do one side at a time. I'm not even going to bother pre-drilling these. I think I can Handle it, hopefully you don't regret it. And screwed it up. I screwed it up. I mean I could probably pound that back in place. Alright, I'm gonna draw. Let's go stick it in the window real quick, and then we're going to paint it. And there it is. There's a little bit of weirdness here. I think I'll just drill it <laughs> into the wall to keep it straight, but let's go and paint this thing. So now I'm gonna put it up on the window. I wanna fix these real quick before I put it up. Let's 
there it is, completely painted. That looks awesome. That looks like it <laughs> looks like it should be there. The only thing is, let me see. I kind of want to screw it into the walls just to make sure that it's totally even. Because if you see, it's kind of sticking up here, and then it's not like totally even there. And originally, I had thought that was something based on how I constructed it, but I kind of analyzed the actual windowsill and it's a little bit warped and whatnot so uh, that actually wasn't entirely my fault so what I'm gonna do is just screw it into the wall here and here to get it evened out and that'll pretty much be it and yes I'm just standing on my computer desk you don't <laughs> I'm gonna paint over the screws here just so that it looks you know it looks pristine but I really like that. I'm gonna go and paint these and we'll go from there. So now this is it, completely done. It's all dried in place, it's not going anywhere. So now I can finally put the terrariums on it. Obviously the setup I'm gonna do now isn't gonna be complete and I'll probably rearrange them as I make more terrariums, but I'll put them in a way that I feel looks good. So obviously this, obviously this big one's going on the bottom and that looks great. It's not hanging off the edge. There's enough room for it to fit up here and it's not too close to that. That was why I actually added an additional inch onto here just so that it wasn't so close to it. And I think I want to put, what was this? I think it was like, or, I can't remember which way this is facing, but I'll put this one there, and put the whole terrarium, where the tension was. So I'll put that one close to there. That looks awesome. I'm gonna put this one here. That's where it was originally. slightly and I still definitely want my hanging terrariums up here so I think what I'll do is just make this extremely short and that about does it this was something I was putting off for quite a while and something that definitely needed to get done in order for me to continue to make terrariums for this channel that said, you're probably thinking, where's all your other terrariums? I know that you made a lot more than this. Well, all the other ones are up in my bedroom and they're all doing very well. I just, you know, don't want to show them in this video and I'm not putting them on this shelf. Now there's a lot of terrariums specifically that you guys keep asking me for and be patient with me. I'm going to do them all on time as I think you guys have seen because I just uploaded that moss video. I do take your suggestions and I always intend to answer them in a video format of course it's just I don't always have the time to get on them right away but in time I do hope to answer all of your questions and I do the best that I can so I definitely appreciate your patience I'm only one guy and to keep all this going and to maintain it all is a lot of work but I enjoy doing it so anyways I appreciate all you who watched and if you give me that thumbs up I would really appreciate it I know that a lot of you guys are watching my content and like it, but you're not giving it a thumbs up. It only takes a few seconds to just scroll down, hit that little thumbs up, and it will just, it will help the overall growth of my channel and help me to continue doing what I'm doing. So greatly appreciate it. Definitely give your feedback down below. I always get to the comments at some point or another. And as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time.